Yes, I know you're looking at the size of the Big Wang, but this video is not about the Big Wang. This video, I'm gonna show you the best mods that you can do on your BMW B58 Let's do it. Okay, so let's get to it. We'll start with the engine bay, and there it is, the infamous B58 turbocharged engine. Now this engine is actually causing a lot of problems in the BMW market because it's more powerful than most M engines. Let me explain. So what's so good about this engine? You can get a lot of power out of this engine with doing very simple mods. So stage one, airbox. We have gone with the MST Performance enclosed airbox. I don't like the idea of a turbocharged car with atmospheric um, air filter because it can affect the temperatures and the breathing of the car so i do like an induction box which is nice and enclosed and we have gone for mst performance so that is a good option there very good simple mod now coming on to the charge pipe these are the vrsf charge pipes the original plastic ones under boost can crack usually on the seam and down here as well so we upgraded these for the VRSF ones. Uh, very good, simple mod to do. Down there as well is the turbo elbow. We have gone for a MST turbo elbow as well, which is another good mod. The standard ones are plastic and they can perish and crack under hard acceleration and boost. Now, so you're probably asking yourself, well, what else can I do to get this car to around 400 horsepower? Stage one, 400 horsepower, induction kit, VRSF charge pipes, not much more now you're going to be asking what about more power stage two let me talk you through it if you want the stage two guys you are going to want a front mount charge cooler now we have gone for the forge charge cooler which is very good at keeping the temperatures down inside the inlet manifold inside the inlet manifold there's actually another cooler here so it's like a like a radiator now this is why it's called a charge cooler so there are companies that upgrade these but you don't get massive gains, okay? So we've gone with the charge cooler on the front forge, so it keeps the temperatures down. There is another radiator cooling pack in here, which is BMW's design. How can you get it to stage two? This baby over here is the TU fuel pump off the Toyota Supra. Not very expensive to buy. I think three, 400 pounds you can get one. You just have to change some calibrations in the engine management. Once it's fitted, very, very nice and easy, cheap mod to do and will increase fuel delivery to the engine. Another thing you can do guys is upgrade the spark plugs. So we have gone for the Iridium spark plugs out of the TU engine, basically the Supra plugs. And we have closed the gap on the spark plugs because this will gain more timing uh, when the engine is under load. Now down there, you can see a massive shiny pipe there. That, my friends, is the decap pipe. Now we have gone for the VRSF down pipe there, which is literally four and a half inches. It's absolutely massive. I've also got the Remus exhaust system. Now that there is enough pedigree to get 470 horsepower. So as you can see, with only very basic mods, even for stage two, it's very possible to achieve 450 plus brake horsepower. Our weapon here is 470 horsepower stage two plus, and obviously you've seen the videos of it going around the Nürburgring and several other tracks. We could push more power out of it, but we don't want to. It's pushing a nice 470 horsepower and around 700 Newton meters of torque, which is an absolute animal. There it is, guys, that's the stage two. Now, another thing that does complement the stage two really, really well, is the XHP transmission gearbox control module flash. GTEC Motorworks in Derby are an XHP tuner. So if you need that doing, click the link below. We can do that for you. Tuning wise, you're probably asking, well, what kind of tune do I go for? Because I get loads of messages since we built this car. What tune have you got? What shall I go for? I would recommend a flash tune, okay? 
uh, MHD or boot mod, very good. We've gone for boot mod. And the reason for that is because we've got switchable maps on it, depending on what track we go on, on depending on what track we go on and what the conditions are like. We can turn the power up and down. I have turned full retard mode off, so the pops and bangs are not as ridiculous as they usually are on some of the cars that I have seen. Because the last thing you want is such an aggressive weapon going down the road and getting pulled for it going pop, pop, bang. So it's loud when it needs to be, but most of the time it's pretty civilised and it doesn't need to be that loud so that the police and the local authorities can stay away from me. So there you have it guys, that's the stage two preference. These are my recommendations as a BMW specialist. This is what I would do to your B58 if you want it tuning. So I will be doing another video guys because I've had tons of you guys message me about what wheel setup I'm running, what suspension setup I'm running, what power it's running, what mods I've done. This video is literally stage one, stage two, simple mods to get your B58 up to around 450 horsepower. If you want to know the full track spec of my weapon, go to the next video and I will show you step by step exactly what we've done to it to get to this stage so this man can give it the mark of approval. Misha himself has signed it. He rates the car heavily. We have got a front splitter coming for it, but I'm going to talk about that in the next video, how to track build a weapon. Please like, share and subscribe. I hope you're loving the content. Thank you for all your comments. See you for the next video.